Hello guys and welcome to a new video. In this video I want to install Windows 11 on this 14-inch uh, mid 2010 uh, MacBook because I tried uh, a lot of uh, OS's and uh, neither of them uh, work very well. Currently I'm uh, running on this MacBook uh, macOS Sonoma has a lot of lag. I tried to install Ubuntu Windows uh, 11 but uh, neither uh, this OS is working very well on this old hardware. I want to install Windows 11 and see how it works on this MacBook. Installing Windows 11 on this uh, old uh, hardware is not very easy but uh, you need to follow uh, some steps. First step in the installing Windows 11 on this old uh, hardware uh, will be to create a Windows 11 USB installer but uh, for this we will need uh, a Windows computer uh, because it uh, works uh, better Please hit the like, subscribe and share, it will be very useful to this channel. Additionally, for creating the Windows 11 USB installer, we will need also to have a USB stick and to have a fresh copy of Windows 11 that can be downloaded from Microsoft website. Let's start with the first step. So, the first step is uh, creating a Windows 11 USB installer using Rufus and uh, also I need to have a fresh Windows 11 software. Windows 11 software can be downloaded from a Windows uh, website. I will uh, proceed to create a USB installer for my uh, 2010 14 inch MacBook. I will open it first Rufus and I will click yes. I will select Discord ISO image, I will select Windows 11, I will click open it and at this point I will uh, click start. As you see we have a pop-up window that uh, allows us uh, to remove requirements for 4 gigs of RAM and secured boot and TPM 2.0. I will click OK, I will click OK, don't be worried of this uh, pop-up windows and uh, let the Rufus uh, do his job. I will not uh, remain on this uh, step uh, too long, it uh, will take some time uh, till uh, the installer will be ready. So I can move to step number two, downloading the drivers for 2010 14 inch MacBook uh, from uh, Apple site uh, using Bootcamp. The second step uh, in uh, this process is downloading uh, Windows uh, 11 drivers for this specific MacBook. So I will go to application, I will go to utilities and I will go to Bootcamp Assistant and uh, from this assistant I will download uh, Windows support software. Be very careful because uh, you need to have a second uh, USB stick on which you should uh, download uh, this uh, Windows uh, support. I will select my Antita and I will go to save. And hopefully at the end uh, I will have uh, drivers for this uh, MacBook to install on Windows 11. Be very patient because it's a very slow uh, process and uh, will take some time uh, till the download will be over. I restarted and holding Alt key I was able to enter in a boot sequence. I will select EFI boot and uh, I will wait uh, till the boot uh, will do his job and uh, begin to install uh, Windows 11 on this uh, 2010 14 inch uh, MacBook. I am a little bit worried because uh, last time when I installed Windows 10 64 bits uh, I have uh, encountered some problems with the graphic drivers. Now I will begin installing Windows 11 on this old hardware. I will select install now. I will not uh, put a key at this point. I will activate later. I will select uh, Windows Home because it's a lighter uh, OS for this old uh, MacBook. I will select Accept Software License. I will click Next. I will format the drives because I want to install a fresh uh, copy of Windows 11 on this MacBook. I will uh, delete it, so this one, and I will click next and uh, let uh, the installer do his job. Be very patient because uh, this uh, installer uh, will uh, restart uh, your MacBook a few times. I 
I will restart the computer now. So the process is almost done. I will set up quickly Windows 11 on this old hardware as quickly as possible. At this point I will select I don't have internet. I will select continue with limited setup. I will enter a name. I will not select any passwords. I will select accept. No and accept. Required only. No and accept. No and accept. No and accept. And the setup is almost done. So I just uh, finished to install Windows 11 on this old MacBook. The drivers that I want to install is uh, located in the boot camp. Do not install the graphic drivers for this MacBook because I think they are corrupt. My recommendation is to install manually the rest of the drivers uh, for this MacBook, but don't install the graphic card drivers because uh, will not work. On this MacBook, uh, it will uh, be restarted over and over again. Thank you for watching this video, and I will hope that you will subscribe to this channel.